Hello everyone. Today we're going to be learning how to create a travel light and how to scrap a two. So firstly, I'm just going to work on creating a simple travel light. Nothing too fancy. Okay, just going to duplicate this part again. And I'll just make this a bit wider. I can increase the height about a bit more. Then I just go duplicate this part again, and we can just change this to a cylinder. And this one is where we will change the color of the cylinder to be uh, one of the traffic light colors. So we will have red, yellow, and green. I'll just bring you up and one down. Okay, so now we just got our three traffic lights. So let me just scale this down a bit just to make it a bit more nicer. And now I'll just change the color of these three cylinders. The top one, I just got to change the color of that to green. And the middle one, I'll just change it to yellow. Last but not least, this part, we can change that to red. Now we got our simple uh, looking traffic light. I just go change the color of this one, just to be a bit nicer. So now what you can do is you go change the name of this cylinder to uh, green light. I'll change the name of this one to yellow light or the middle one. And then the bottom one, I'll change the name of it to red light. Uh, okay. Then what you can do is select all these parts. Just like so. I'll do control G to create a model for it. And this I go name this to traffic light. And this is our simple looking traffic light. Now what you can do is just select your traffic light and just do Alt A in order to anchor the whole thing. You can also press a model and this anchor part to anchor all your parts. That is another way you can do it. Anyways, we're just going to group the green light, red light, and yellow light. So I go do control G to group the green light, red light, and yellow light. And for this one, I'm just going to change the name just to uh, control lights. So now that we did that, up here, I'm going to create a script. And we're going to get our control lights. So we'll do local control lights equals script.parent.control lights. And what we're going to do is we're going to create a simple function. So local function um, change light. And in this function, what we're going to do is we're going to change one of these parts into a neon color. No, into a neon for the material. So if I just go to game and change the plastic right here to neon as you can see it makes it easier to distinguish which one is on and off so the neon is the light that you is the part you want for it neon for on smooth light no smooth part no smooth plastic for off that would mess say so in here for our parameter just going to put in part and the last one, uh, for second one, I just could have this one as our timer. 
as to how long you want to have the uh, neon material on for. Now that we did that, we'll do part the material equals enum the material dot neon. So it will change the part to neon, like I said before. Then we will do task.wait and we put in timer and that will be how long we want to keep the neon light on for. After our timer is finished, we'll do part the material is equal to enum the material dot smooth plastic and it'll just change the material back to smooth plastic. So now we can create a while true do loop. And then we'll just put in wait. And what we're going to do is let me just type in at the top local green light equals control lights dot green light. So we get our green light. And then we also need to create a variable for the red light and yellow light, which I'm going to do. Then local yellow light equals control lights dot yellow lights and local red light equals control lights dot red light. So now we can just do, uh, you know, we just get red green light. So we'll do change light. We'll put in our green light and how long we want to wait for. So let's say we want to wait for three seconds. You can do that. And now all you just need to do is just copy and just paste it twice after that. And now we can just put in change the green light to yellow light there. Just need to get rid of that light part. And again, last part, we can just change that to red light. And that will be our script for it. So if we go ahead and run this, the simple light should be working. So as you can see, it's green, goes to yellow and red. Everything is working properly, which is nice to see and i hope this helped you create your first travel like but then the next tutorial i will show you how you can do uh create a group of travel life so if you have four travel lights uh you can ch change how you want to set that up so i'll see you in the next tutorial bye